this day to in Jeju and today we are going to go explore the western side of the island. The weather is so nice today. So our first stop for the day was Dududong Rainbow Coastal Road which is a unique road located 10 minutes away by car from the airport. Locals had been voicing their opinions on adding colors to the protective walls installed along the coastal road in order to prevent cars from veering off the road and as a result the walls came to wear these beautiful rainbow colors. So our next stop was Halim Park. Uh, it is one of the most popular tourist spots on Jeju Island. And the entrance fee is about 990 Indian rupees per person. The Rio the bird in a This park was established in early 1971 on barren land with the importation of tons of earth and the planting of assorted subtropical plants. So this park is spread over 100,000 square meters. It has a variety of gardens that can be enjoyed in any season. Visitors can enjoy Palm Tree Road, Jeju Stone and Bonsai Garden, Water Garden, Subtropical Botanic Garden and so much more. It will take you like 2 hours at least to explore the whole place. So these stone statues that you, you're seeing right now, they're called Dol Harubangs, uh, which are large rock statues found on Jeju Island. They are considered to be gods offering both protection and fertility and were placed outside of gates for protection against demons traveling between realities.
so every month there's a different flower in bloom and we went in April so when we went tulips were in bloom The most famous tourist sites in Halim Park are Hyopje Gul and Sangyong Gul caves which are known to be the only two dimensional caves in the world. So these two caves were formed by an eruption of Mount Hala many years ago. Uh, many people believe that the caves were below sea level at the time of formation based on discovering fossilized seashells and abalone shells. The temperature inside these caves is 12 to 18 degrees Celsius all year round. After that, we went to Usalok Tea Museum. So there's a cafe there. I think it's called Usalok Cafe itself. I'm not sure. They're famous for their green tea. Uh, products and it's really yummy. I highly recommend it. So after that we headed to Yongmori beach which is where Sanbangsan mountain stretches into the ocean and it looks like as if a dragon's head is going underwater. So cool no? Also, there are quite a few stores here if you want to do souvenir shopping.
I love snowballs so I got this secret snowball and uh, it costed about 10,000 won which is 623 Indian rupees there were four figurines Henio, Dolphin, Mountain and Orange so if you want to know which one I got keep watching till the end just a two minute drive from Yongmuri coast is Sanbang San mountain as its name Sanbang literally means a cave inside a mountain suggests this mountain contains a cave which is located about 150 meters above sea level and has a spectacular view out over the ocean The Sanbangsa Temple and Bomunsa Temple, which holds the relics of Buddha, are both located on this mountain. You can walk along the stone steps between the two temples and you will find the Sambangulsa Grotto. So our next stop was Chonje on waterfall which is also known as the pond of God. It consists of three falls with the first cliff being 22 meters high falling into Chonje on pond with a depth of 21 meters. From here the water continues its journey two more times creating the second and third waterfalls before reaching the sea. Fun fact, legend says that fairies bathed here in the moonlight. In May of even numbered years, the Chilsonyo Seven Nymphs Festival is held in their honor here. There are a lot of stairs here so you're gonna have to do a lot of climbing so make sure you wear comfortable shoes. So for dinner, we went to Dongmun Market, which is Jeju Island's largest and oldest permanent market. street market, night market, traditional market and seafood market are all combined in one place and there are many places where you can eat and shop so it is very popular with tourists.
Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this vlog and I'll see you in my next vlog. Till then, bye.